Welcome everyone. Uh, today I have Basilio here with me. Uh, we're just going to talk about his sleep. Uh, for the ones who don't know me, my name is Carol. I am the founder of the Sleep Success Academy and I'm the creator of the Better Sleep Community. And that's what me and Basilio are going to talk about today. He's currently in the program. We're on the second round and we're about to start our third round in June. So Basilio, welcome. Hello. Yeah. And why don't you share with people whatever it is you want to share about your sleep, like how you found me, how you found the program, and how maybe your sleep was prior to the program. Like what attracted you to the program? Yeah. So, you know, I've been having sleep issues for about over two years now. And of mm -hmm. course, I tried all these kinds of things, right? Sleep hygiene, um, medications, and of course, they didn't really work for me. And so I was just on, you know, the internet, just kind of watching videos. And then I saw your, I think you had a, an educational video on YouTube and I clicked on your video and it kind of resonated with me because one, I, I saw a technique that I wasn't really familiar with, which is tapping. And then mm -hmm. that kind of got me more interested. And of course I watched some of your other videos and it kind of led me down this path where like, you know what, maybe this is something I want to explore. Um, in terms of my sleep, you know, uh, I guess when I started your your 1.0 program, I was I was feeling depressed. I had you know a lot of these sort of physical issues going on that I really didn't know what was going on with me uh, because I wasn't really educated about my nervous system. And then yeah. part of your program, you talk about that right the sympathetic nervous system, the free state, the the fight or flight that also causes anxiety, not just you know with our sleep, but just our sort of daily life and you know being a part of 2.0, having more, you know, just sort of reinforcing my education around sleep and my own personal beliefs about who I am, but related to my sleep. And what yeah. I really like about your program is it also ties to our emotional well-being, right? Mm -hmm. Not just the behaviors and our mindset. Yeah. Yes. And so just to get uh, for people to know what we're talking about when we say 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, the Better Sleep Community was created um, so I'm on the second round. So the first round was 1.0. So Basilio came in halfway through um, probably. And I had done over six months because mm -hmm. I'm a big believer that I will not disrupt my sleep by trying to create something that I knew I needed more time. So I had did it over a longer course. But what I also did is anybody who joins at any time, they get to come back every time. So the Better Sleep 2.0 was a 12 week program and we're on week 11 already of this program. And so the content is all the same, it's just reorganized. And when we go into 3.0 in early June, we're gonna do the same curriculum because like Vasilia said, we start with the emotional well being, and then we really learn about the state of our nervous system. Cause yes. I want you to talk about the nervous system. Like what are you recognizing in the group that we're in when it comes to the state of our nervous system? Yeah, well, first, you know, it's having your self-awareness about your body, you know, recognizing the symptoms are just the symptoms. And of course, like you recommend, you know, if you feel like if it's too much, go check, go check with a doctor, right? Um, a yeah. physician, just to make sure it's nothing else that's going on with your body. But oftentimes it's just your body telling you, hey, like there's something going on. And that we attribute that, feeling in our body to our emotions and then we think it's bad and then we get you know depressed or more anxious right we tighten up and we don't sleep and i like your metaphor of what you, you talk about with the beach balls right how they come up yeah. kind of come up and so when we do you know the tapping which you, you teach us how to do that sometimes the beach balls will, will rise up to the surface um, and then we have to tap on those things that education kind of brought up more self-awareness about my body and you know talking to people who are watching this it's not a quick fix. It's not, it's not a linear path. You know, you're going to have ups and downs, but you have to kind of trust the process. Trust the process. So we're, you know, we're six to eight in the group right now. And mm -hmm. then there'll be more people at it when we BSE better sleep community 3.0. But at the core of everybody's sleep issue is usually a dysregulated nervous system. Yes. And when you're together with like-minded people and you hear, oh, like you went through a phase where your hands were feeling cold and numb, which was the freeze lifting. So then you get this education and then all of a sudden another person in the program was having the same symptoms. 
And she didn't panic over them because she was like, oh, I remember that happening to Basilio. And it gave her comfort. Yes. Yeah. Right. Because then we're all kind of experienced the same thing. And it's kind of amazing to me that everybody has the same almost symptoms, but all for different reasons. Yeah. Also, I was having gut issues as well. Um, Yeah. And I think that was tied to, you know, um, sort of the behavior of taking my THC gummies. You know, it was, I was kind of compensating. I was like, it was a, it was, it was more of a, I need to take this so I can, I can go to sleep. And that sort of, you know, whatever it did to my body, my body was telling me, Basilio, you, you cannot keep doing this because it's, you know, yeah. it's, it's doing whatever to my body. And then once I, I, I kind of weaned off the, the THC gummies, right. Of course, with the advice of my doctor, I talked to him about it and I did that. And then kind of tapping through that with you, because what I love about you two, you, if, if there's something that I'm not able to understand, you will, you will go on a you know, one-on-one call to kind of just sort of talk about that in more detail. And yeah, the, the GI issues kind of went away after a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. You know, and, and so understanding like, this is what our body is telling us, you know, and like you said, the group, you know, you recognize, oh yeah, these are just symptoms that your body has. I mean, and, yeah. um, and so, yeah, that's, that's really something that, you know, I think the whole group understood. The whole group understood. And so let's talk about your gains in the program. Cause we mm-hmm. really focus also at one of the concepts that we teach is this uh, comes from Benjamin Hardy. He talks about the gap and the gain mindset. And so we, we've, we have a few weeks where we really discuss the gains. So what would you say your gains have been with your sleep since starting the program? Yeah. So, so for me, it was, I couldn't be able to go to sleep. That was the reason in my mind, I had to take, you know, sleeping aids, my THC gummies to help me fall asleep. And once I got rid of that mindset, or once I got, you know, I I was able to Mm -hmm. sharpen my mindset so allow me to do actually do, do to remove those behaviors from my life. The gap or the gain was that I was able to trust myself first and foremost, um, trust my body and my my intuition and my gut. Like you said, follow follow your your instinct. And the gain was it take it one step at a time. You know, of course you want to have long term goals. You know, you you want to sleep eight hours a day or whatever the goal might be for you. Um, take it a, a day at a time. And so when I first started, it was, can I get out of bed, right? <laughs> can I get out of bed and get some sunshine, you know, walk around, you know, even though I was still feeling depressed or, you know, I was in sort of that mindset in the beginning, very tired. And then a couple of weeks later, be like, oh, I actually got two hours of sleep. All right. That's great. You know, maybe from a normal person perspective, that's not great. But for me, because I wasn't getting any sleep at all. That was absolutely a gain, um, yeah. shifting my mindset. And then now it's like, now, right now, I'm getting four to five hours of sleep, right? Yeah. Like I said, I, I'm still not where I want to be, but I know that I'm getting there. And that's why when I designed the Better Sleep Community, I was very aware that even though I made it a 12-week program, when you have a really dysregulated nervous system and you haven't slept for years, it's almost unrealistic to believe that in 12 weeks, you're going to sleep again, Mm -hmm. like a full eight hours and never have disruptions. And that is where I came in with, then you will join the program as many times as it, as you need in order to, because when you come back in early June, when we start back, you'll have a whole different view on week one, when we start talking about following our impulses and finding what our resources are to help calm our nervous system. And then we get to orienting you don't have to learn orienting again. So then you'll put it even more in your life, right? So we're going to grow the capacity even more in your nervous system. We're going to build on what you already have. And, you know, you might only need to do one more round and your sleep might be where you need it to be. And say two years down the road, you have a big event happen. And again, we talk about the different types of trauma And I'm going to just put the definition here for the purpose of the program is anything that dysregulates the nervous system. Then you have something happen and you suffer with your sleep again. Then you just come back to the program for another round to kind of 
get yourself back because it does happen. Life happens. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of my program, and, and you can tell me if I've done a good job of this or not, because I think I have, but I'm really teaching people to become their own sleep gurus, to figure out for themselves how they can then manage their sleep when they're having a bad night's sleep. I don't want them to meet me full time. I want them to be able to do this by themselves. I guess an aspect of self-reliance, although you are teaching us the skills and uh, our, the mindset, you know, one of the greatest things I learned particularly is understanding your resources, your, in, your internal and your external resources. Yeah. And I definitely relied on those resources. Like the first couple of weeks, I wasn't sleeping at all once I got off the gummies. And then, you know, having a support system, right? Uh, I think this group sort of format is really, you know, conducive to that because mm -hmm. we're very open and on these calls where we share, you know, what is going on with us in our daily lives and how that's impacting our sleep. And it's almost kind of like a family, right? We're just, and you have the Facebook private group as well, answer yeah. questions. So yeah, I think anyone who comes out of this program is going to become self-reliant because they're going to take away mm -hmm. the skills and they can use, you know, they can tap wherever they're where, wherever they're at, like literally yeah. and tap on the table. You know, <laughs> yeah, the finger tapping. If you're out, you don't want to start tapping on your face, right? And another thing that I I did is I took the course Tapping One Hundred One and I separated it from the Better Sleep Community's content because it was just getting too much in the twelve weeks. So this way, when people sign up right away, they get access to Tapping One Hundred One, so they can go through that course. There's just more stuff is being added to that course. And then we start incorporating. And the calls are like a Tuesday and a Thursday. And the way I've split them up is on Tuesdays, more of a training call. We go through the material, the curriculum, we talk about it, and then we answer any question people have. And then on the Thursday, we practice our skills together. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoy I enjoy both days really, but on the Thursday when we actually start tapping and, and people start talking about, there was one person that was talking about using her phone before bedtime as one of the behaviors she was doing, you know, and just the way we are asking questions, like, how is that serving you? She was like, well, it's not serving me. And I was like, well, if it wasn't serving you, you wouldn't be doing it. And all of a sudden she had the big aha. I'm using my phone because I don't want to feel the anxiety of not sleeping. Mm -hmm. So it was a coping mechanism that she was using. So when we recognized that, everybody was like, oh, my God, it doesn't mean she's not going to use her phone again. But now at least she is aware of the root cause of using the phone. And she can start applying tapping on, I want to reach for my phone because I don't want to feel this. Yeah, and, that's true. And I think, yeah. I think a lot of it, you know, unfortunately, and just our society, we don't have a lot of edu education around sleep. You know, just the basic sleep yeah. hygiene, like, you know, get black blackout curtains, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, where, where those, those blue are. Yeah. blocking glasses or whatever they want people to wear at night. And it frustrates me that part because if your nervous system is dysregulated because you have a job that is overwhelming, wearing those glasses and getting blockout curtains will not fix your sleep. Mm -hmm. And another thing that frustrates me is when people do sleep restriction, it actually creates more dysregulation in their nervous system because they're passing their sleep window, forcing themselves to stay up at like, like, you know, and then, then they get overstimulated and can't fall asleep and they have less sleep actually than if they would allow their body to sleep a few hours here and there, tap on the emotions change the mindset and then sleep comes and the behaviors automatically change. Yeah. Because one of my, one of my limiting beliefs was I shouldn't take a nap during the day because that's going to reduce my sleep drive. Yeah. And then, you know, this last week I was, I took maybe like a 30, 30 minute nap and I still went, I was still able to go to bed. Um, so, yeah. you know, just those things can really inhibit yeah. our, our progress. Yeah. But when we allow to follow our intuition, I'm tired. I'm going to take a 30 minute nap. Mm -hmm. I took a two hour nap the other day. I wasn't feeling well. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to lay on the couch and see what happens. Slept for two hours. But my belief is that I'm still going to go to bed at nine and sleep. And mm -hmm. guess what? I went to bed at nine, maybe took me an extra five minutes to fall asleep. I fell asleep, woke up the next day. I was better. So what would you 
say, or if you, if you were talking to someone that are struggling with their sleep, what would you tell them about this program that might help them? I think for sure, if they do join this program, it's, it's a group format. So you're going to get support from us, uh, not only from Carl, but just on the group calls. And you know, like you said, Tuesdays, which is the training calls and the Thursdays, like more of the tapping kind of thing. You know, I think sometimes we feel like our, our own sleep issue is unique to ourselves, but in reality, it's, it's not hearing other perspectives like myself and other people in the program, uh, about their own sort of challenges, I think will resonate with that person, whoever, whoever joins this program, be like, you know what? I thought my problem was, you know, unique or special, but it really isn't. It's kind of common. There's, there are things that I can do to help, you know, sort of relieve that. Um, I think that's one of the biggest ones is just having support from people who, who've been through it um, or who also going through it like myself, you know, I'm, yeah. st I'm still not where I want to be, but I know that I will get there at some point. You know, I wouldn't believe that maybe seven, eight months ago, you know, and so now it's like my mindset has shifted. Um, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. And looking at the the gains instead of the gap. So. Oh, man, that's huge, eh? The gains mm -hmm. instead of the gaps. Because with the gaps, we get stuck. But when we look at the gains, we can see progress, even though it's little. But like we say, small progress actually sticks better than big gains. And so we do this slow, we do it right, and we learn how to improve the quality of our sleep. And then our entire life changes. Yeah, right? absolutely. And there's a lot of great information that you talk about in your program that, you know, like, yeah. you know, some of the, you know, I know people don't like worksheets, but the worksheets <laughs> are really helpful that you that you gave us. And even just like some of the the... The, the diagrams too, like of the nervous mm -hmm. system, you know, I've never, like the polyvagal nervous system, whatever it's called. It's like, oh, wow, I can actually visually see my nervous system. This is what it looks like when it's in yeah. freeze or when it's in flight or fight, you know, whatever the case yeah. might be. Yeah. And so for people who are joining, who are planning to join, so every Saturday you get an email with the week's content. So you have like three or four days before the Tuesday call to re to look at the material. There's never a whole lot there. I would say at the most would be an hour on the big weeks, but most of the times it's between 20 to 30 minutes of content. Mm -hmm. uh, the videos are there for you to rewatch over and over if you want. Some of this information, if it's brand new to people, they'll need to hear it more than once. And mm -hmm. Nancy did say one day it was easy to digest and, and there's really a progression to it, like start building the nervous system capacity, then start looking at releasing those beach balls, which is a concept that comes from Irene Lyon that I took from some of the trainings I did with her. Then we start changing our mindset and then we look at the behaviors. And next week, we're really going to talk about how do we trust our sleep? How do we create that environment for our sleep so that trust can come easily or sleep can come easily because we trust that our bodies are biologically wired for sleep. And that's a truth statement. Like our bodies are biologically wired for sleep. We just get in the way without knowing we're getting in the way. Mm -hmm. With yeah. our mindset usually. Yeah. Definitely our mindset, you know. Uh, but yeah, and our limiting beliefs, our blocking beliefs, you know, that, that you yeah. also talk about. You know, your program has a lot of great information. And once you kind of get through the weeds and like start watching the videos, because you could rewatch the videos. And you also record the live, the live session. So you know, you can rewatch what, maybe you forgot what you said during the live session. You can kind of go back and rewatch what you said, maybe write down some notes. That's what I've done. Um, yeah. you know, or maybe someone else, you share something profound and I'm like, oh, wow, let me, I know several, all of us have said something profound in, in our, in our group calls. I'm like, like, I'll write it down like on my laptop. So. Yeah. And I know some people have gone back to the tapping that we've done together to re-tap through it for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and one person actually said on last week's call that she was having a low day and she just put one of those calls on because seeing all her face together uplifted her energy and made her feel better. So that was kind of nice that she she really felt the energy of us even through a recording. Yeah, I think one of them said they... they um they recognize my voice from someone else's like voice and I was like oh that's yeah that was really nice of them so yeah 
<laughs> yeah. So I'm excited uh, for the Better Sleep Community 3.0. If anybody has any questions, so go to the link that I'm going to put in the description below. And on the Better Sleep Community page, there's also, if you have more questions, you can actually book a call with me. Uh, there's times available there where we can just make sure that the Better Sleep Community is right for the person. Mind you, if their issue is because of a dysregulated nervous system, because of stress, because of the belief that it's not possible, even people who have tried everything, my belief is that this will work. It just won't be a quick fix, like you said, but it will. It there's a big possibility of it being a permanent fix once they apply all these techniques in their lives. Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you so much for your time. And I appreciate everything you've shared. Thank you, Carol. Appreciate it. You're welcome.